All right. Welcome to Simple Not Easy. I'm Gavin Bowen. So, last time we spoke was a while ago, and it was all about the uh, ballot measures in California for the election. Uh, we'll get to some of the results on that. Um, I was definitely going to bring you the results sooner, but um, the election didn't really go as... I and many other people had foreseen, so I kind of want to just talk about that a little bit. As it stands, Donald Trump won the Electoral College, which makes you the president. Um, and Hillary Clinton, at this moment, today's uh, the 27th, has won over 2 million votes more than Donald Trump in the popular vote but she's not going to be the president. That's a kick right in the balls, really. One of the things that I had written about um, in a blog on my website, simplenoteasy.org, um, was that one of the scariest things would be who Trump surrounds himself with. Some people just on the short list that kind of shock me are people like Rudy Giuliani, who you know was helping Trump and and wanting him to get elected, but to actually consider him for positions like Secretary of State? Oh, boy. Um, that's terrifying to me. I mean, I, I, another name on that list, on that short list, was Mitt Romney. I would much prefer Mitt Romney as Secretary of State than I would Rudy Giuliani. And Mitt Romney believes in magic underwear. So, and what's even, what's just really scary about all of this is that Donald Trump doesn't seem to know anything about being president. And this whole time, um, this whole election, we knew it. Everybody could see that he was not even acting presidential or talking presidential but no one cared and I mean no one I mean the media didn't seem to really care and his voters didn't really seem to care so now we have somebody who is going to be in the White House who doesn't know a lot about much doesn't really know anything he doesn't know anything and he's going to be surrounding himself with people he thinks know what they're doing and they probably do know what they're doing but they know what they're doing to self uh to serve their self interests they're not there to help you or me in any way i mean steve bannon come on this is ridiculous this is um a joke it's really one big joke I think everybody is kind of playing this off as normal. It's not normal. It really isn't. To have somebody who knows so little about so much, it's really nauseating. I think it's interesting that Jill Stein has petitioned for a recount in Wisconsin and most likely uh, Michigan and Pennsylvania, that Hillary Clinton wouldn't seem... Um, to want to take the lead on this, but to join Jill Stein afterward. I just, there were plenty of people who would have supported Hillary Clinton's efforts to have a recount. Um, we'll see what comes of it, but to have Jill Stein take the lead on it. Jill Stein, if you voted for Jill Stein, I feel sorry for you. This is a woman who just recently um Fidel Castro died. Jill Stein tweeted something about his death and how he could do so much under the shadow of an empire, the United States, and then ended it with Presidente or Presente. That Jill Stein has, much like Donald Trump, she doesn't have an off switch to being stupid. These people are not suitable for the presidency 
and Hillary Clinton was, and she lost. I mean, she lost. You could, you can say what you want, but when I heard that Hillary didn't campaign in Wisconsin, it's still a battleground state. You still got to show up. She never once visited Wisconsin. When I heard that on election, I was like, this might be over right now. That's crazy to me. And for those of you out there who are blaming Bernie for this, um, Bernie made the Democratic Party more progressive. And if you think that's a bad thing, then you should you should consider uh, what party really works for you. Um, Hillary Clinton wasn't going to um, touch the topic of marijuana. She wasn't going to um, come close to uh, helping out students with their debt. She wasn't going to come close to providing universal health care, although she's tried in the past. Uh, she wasn't going to try the things that Bernie had been campaigning since day one for. And it's only because of Bernie that she was starting to talk about those things. And she was reaching out to those people who Bernie was able to uh, capture. It's uh, foolish to say that Bernie Sanders had anything to do with her not getting elected. He campaigned for her. He was a strong advocate for her over Donald Trump. Um, he knew the dangers of voting third party during this election, which in many places could have helped Hillary Clinton, like in Florida, North Carolina. Um, so uh, I know you're looking for somebody to blame uh, because you're so upset that Hillary didn't win, but to blame Bernie Sanders. Uh, Bernie Sanders, for a man of his age and all the fights that he's been in in Congress as a senator, um, you should be proud of the fact that he uh, he made the Democratic par Party stronger during the primary. I don't know how strong the Democratic Party is now, uh, since not only did we lose the presidency, but we didn't regain any control uh, in Congress. The House and the Senate are still Republican held. I mean, the good news with that is that at least now anything that comes out of Washington, the Republicans are solely responsible for. Uh, that could be one uh, silver lining to this. Uh, doubt it's going to last that long uh, as a silver lining. I'm sure they're going to find good ways of uh, blaming other people uh, for the mistakes that they caused, uh, since they like doing that. It looks bad. It looks overall depressing, and it's not fun to think about. But um, I would just encourage you to, to keep um, with it. Keep with politics. Don't stop um, being engaged. Uh, make videos like this just to kind of you know, express yourself, write it out, um, share it. There's a lot to, a lot to be uh, hopeful for. And one of the things I'm hopeful for is how California did this election. We passed some of the most progressive uh, propositions in the country. We were able to uh, pass propositions for education, health care, um, uh, taxes on on cigarettes um, we legalized marijuana we have one of the strongest background checks for ammunition purchases we we did some amazing things this uh, uh, time around in in California that I'm very proud of um, I don't think it's cause for people to um, want to leave the state I know people are upset but I think California only makes the United States stronger, and we are a perfect example of where the country is going to be, um, because uh, the good news is is that most people die, and people who uh, get older, who will be getting older, uh, they have more uh, accepting and more of a progressive mindset the older people 
uh, who think they get to decide um, the fate of the younger generations, they're going to die. So, you know, I, um, I see encouragement in that. And uh, I would just, uh, I would just say stay engaged. That's all I got for today. Uh, please check out um, my website. I, I will be posting uh, more blogs there on simplenoteasy.org. Yeah. Well, until next time. What was that? I don't know. I don't know what was that.